What's up guys, Beastly Gamer here, welcome to the channel. Now let me start this video by saying, I know the last week has been a little bit mm, slow on my channel, only a video or two every day. Uh, it's been kind of a slow week for me, but it's been a really exciting week for me. I bought a shit ton of games, I got some nice new DLC, and I got me a new laptop, which is a beast, a total animal, that I'm going to be doing a review on pretty soon, so you guys be looking forward to that. But this video, I want to talk about the insane climate of Xbox fanboys. And this kind of goes the same way for PlayStation fans. Now, everybody knows, a disclaimer, that I'm, I'm more of a PlayStation gamer. I play more PlayStation than I do my Xbox. That's no secret. But I definitely enjoy my Xbox. It's not like I just love the PlayStation and I think my Xbox One is gutter trash. It's just not the case. Xbox One and PlayStation are very close rivals. Both of the consoles have amazing games, amazing exclusives, and insanely powerful hardware when it comes to the console space. But there are a group of people out there, mostly YouTubers, who like to live in the world of all falsities. Or not so much all falsities. These people live in a world of absolutes where there is something has to be either 100% right or 100% wrong 100% good or 100% bad and that's where the fanboy foolishness really really grinds my gears <laughs> these people drive me insane there are a certain group of youtubers out there you guys probably know them fairly well uh, Crap Gamer is one of the biggest. Next Gen 720 is another one. Blackie Lebowski, who changed his name from Ash Villain because he used to be a big Nintendo fan. Uh, he was one of the Nintendo fanboys. Once he got exposed for the, the joke that he was, he, he deleted that channel, changed his name, and now he never gets in front of the camera, and he's Blackie Lebowski, an Xbox One fan. These people all have one thing in, in common, that everything the Xbox does is amazing. Everything that Sony does is gutter trash and bullshit. So Crab Gamer is one of the captains of this team of rejects who only believe that the Xbox is amazing and PlayStation everything they do is terrible. He's one of the most delusional YouTubers I know. I'm not subscribed to his channel. I'm not subscribed to NextGen720. I'm not subscribed to Blackie Lebowski. To me, you have to be a complete sheep to even follow these guys because once you hear what they say, you know that it's bullshit. You cannot be 100% for one thing and 100% against another, regardless of what the climate is, regardless of what happens in the climate. Everything that happens good for the Xbox, they, they love it. Everything that happens good for the PlayStation, they hate it. And they pretend like it's a bad. And I just, I'm not stupid. I'm not an ignorant person. When I see something good happen on the PlayStation, I'm all for it. When I see something good happen on the Xbox, I'm all for it. And vice versa. If something happens bad, I'm telling the truth. PlayStation's network is horrible. And we all know that. And, and Sony needs to do something about it. Microsoft's network is much better. Do I like Xbox exclusives more than PlayStations? I personally don't, but I'm sure there are a lot of people who do. Do I enjoy my Xbox? Hell yeah. Do I enjoy my PlayStation 4? Hell yeah. I'm a real gamer, all right? I even enjoy my, my Nintendo Wii U until Nintendo kind of screwed that up and told me don't put any more videos on YouTube, so now I don't play it anymore, but I'm an all-around gamer, so when I see people like this who deal in absolutes, I kind of shy away from them because my mind is based on logic, not on emotion. These people are basically emotionally attached to their hardware. They, they, they catch feelings if something bad happens in the climate of their hardware, their system of preference. And uh, I'm not that kind of guy. If something stupid happens for PlayStation, hey, I suck it up. It is what it is. I play PlayStation more than Xbox. If something good happens to PlayStation, I'm happy for them. And vice versa with Xbox. These guys are not like that. So... When the recent news of Quantum Break, a game that I'm definitely looking forward to, an Xbox One exclusive, broke that this game is actually going to be coming to PC. The captain of the team, Crap Gamer himself, took to Twitter, like a lot of these Twitter uh, guys do nowadays, and he went at Phil Spencer, and this is what he said. Phil, you don't stop to ask the hardcore fans that stuck by Xbox that this is even what they wanted? It's not. And sad to say, I canceled my Quantum Break pre-order as I said I would. You weren't up front on Quantum Break going to PC. And Phil Spencer responded back by saying, You canceled a pre-order for a game that you want to play because someone else is going to play it on Windows? Crap Gamer said this, On principle, Phil, it wasn't listed and suddenly gets listed a month before it releases. And I know, Halo, Gears, Forza are next. And Phil Spencer replied, I've said it over and over. We are focused on the best place to play for gamers, not about creating walls. Crap Gamer the Moron continues on and says, Walls. Phil, you're punishing Xbox owners. We pay to play online and they don't. And now they get all the same games. It's not right. 
At that point, Phil Spencer kind of stepped away. You know, that moment where you know, I'm just going to back away slow. Obviously, this person has some kind of issue. And of course, tons of people took to Twitter and kind of reamed out Crap Gamer. By the end of this whole thing, which happened uh, the day later, uh, he was all on, oh, yeah, now we're a Windows 10 team. Basically, he sucked it all up, did a 180, because his whole channel is based on Xbox propaganda. Now, a lot of people would see some of the points he says as valid. I personally don't. He said, you weren't up front about this game coming to PC. And since it's coming to PC, I'm not going to buy it. I, I went and got a refund from my pre-order. We got to pay for Xbox Live and PC gamers don't. This has nothing to do with the cost of Xbox Live versus PC. This has nothing to do with PC's graphics being better than the Xbox. This has nothing to do with Phil Spencer and the Xbox team not stating that this game is going to be coming to the PC earlier. The only reason that Crap Gamer rescinded or refunded his pre-order was because that is what his channel is built upon. His channel is a propaganda channel. And so anytime that uh, an exclusive comes out, that they can say, ooh, Xbox, we got this. Sony doesn't have anything. Whenever an, an, an Xbox One exclusive is released that they can use kind of as ammunition against the PlayStation gamers, then that's exactly what they're going to do. They're going to say, hey, we got a new exclusive. Xbox rocks. PlayStation sucks. And so the fact is that they know that there are people in the, the PlayStation camp who think just like them, then now the quantum break is going to be coming to PC. There's going to be PlayStation losers who say, hey, that's not an exclusive because it's on PC. So basically, they feel like Microsoft took away a piece of their ammunition to use against PlayStation hardcore fans. And and it's going to be the same way when Street Fighter comes out uh, later on in the month when uh, they say, Street Fighter V, PlayStation 4 exclusive, they're going to be Xbox guys and say, no, it's not, it's on PC. To me, the whole thing is foolish. I agree with what Phil Spencer said here. I just got a new PC. It, it has a quad core i7-6700 Skylake processor. It has an NVIDIA GTX 960M. Uh, it has dedicated graphics, two gigs of VRAM with the graphics card. This thing is an animal. And, and I'm enjoying some PC games right now, just to say the least. And so I know this PC can handle games as well as PlayStation 4 and Xbox One easily. I've tested it out. The thing is an animal. Am I personally a PC gamer? Not so much. But I know there are a lot of people who are, who might not own an Xbox One, who would appreciate having the opportunity to play Quantum Break on their PC, and vice versa. There are probably people who have an Xbox One, who have a decent PC, who would enjoy being able to play Street Fighter V on their PC. I enjoy and I appreciate the fact that these developers, these companies, are allowing more people to play. And like Phil Spencer said, I want to make Xbox the best place to play for gamers. I always play my Xbox on my PC. Now it's even better than before. But that's an extra option. Well, how could that make any Xbox fan upset? Microsoft Windows, Microsoft created basically the whole Internet, Internet Explorer. They, they are very synonymous with computer technology, with uh, Internet infrastructure. They're Microsoft. So why would they not put one of their games on one of their biggest platforms, which is PC? Come on. It only makes sense. And I'm actually really happy about it. These guys drive me insane. I'm not subscribed to these guys, man. Uh, Crap Gamer, Next Gen 720, Blackie Lebowski, I mean, <coughs> Ash Villain. These guys, their channels are basically dedicated to young, prepubescent children who haven't gone through puberty and need someone to listen to. Because only a child, not an adult, will listen to the kind of ramblings that these guys do on their channels. I mean, even if they do make a semi-valid point, they immediately turn around and shit on said point by saying something completely outlandish. And if you don't believe me, check out these guys' channels. But I wanted to bring you that little bit of news, talk to you guys about the ills of YouTube and, and the ills of the community. As a gamer community, we need to actually be gaming together. It doesn't matter what console you're on. If you're on this console and I'm on another console, fine. When you hop on mine and I hop on yours, we can play together. We don't need to keep segmenting this audience. We don't need to keep segmenting gamers. We need to fucking play the games together. And if a game is terrible, yeah, we can rag on the game. But these consoles, man, they make this shit possible for us to get together and play. I love the prospect of being able to play on my console against PC gamers. To me, that's awesome. It's bridging gaps. It's new technology coming together to create new and engaging environments. We need new environments. We need better places to play. And these developers and these people are working hard to make that happen. And anybody who doesn't want it to happen, 
wants to keep their propaganda going just like Crap Gamer. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section below. Are you looking forward to Quantum Break? Are you playing it on Xbox One? Are you going to play it on PC? Now, personally, I'm going to play it on my Xbox One uh, because, like I said, I'm not really that much of a PC gamer. Plus, my PC is only 15 inches. My TV is 60, so I'd rather play it on there. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Is the game going to be hot or not? Be sure to give a thumbs up, show support for the Beastly Gamer channel, and definitely, definitely subscribe. I'm the Beastly Gamer. I'll see you guys next time. Hey,